Wawa Eggnog Review. It's a quart, 32 ounces. Get how much this is. I think it's two forty nine or like three dollars, three forty nine. These are all Wawa's been open since nineteen oh two. I don't know how long they've been making their eggnog for. I don't know what year they started making it, it doesn't say. These are all the ingredients that they use. Milk, liquid, sour quart, sour rose, whatever, sugar, water. See, look, they water theirs, eggnog on too, as well. Cream, non fat milk, which is basically you're drinking water. They're doing that just to make a huge profit. The scam people. Eggnogs are made with sh uh, sugar, egg yolks, whole milk, not fat free, and we don't need corn syrup in eggnog. Just sugar, egg yolks, whole milk, and just certain spices. I don't know what Kargage, Kargan, Nana is, and there's artificial flavors, and Tano Tudu extract, and Tarmac, which is for colors. It says it contains milk and egg, but they're wrong. It's fat-free milk and water. It doesn't say it contains water. It's in ingredients, though. This eggnog is okay, but it, it tastes like all the other Southern Comfort stuff. It tastes like Lehigh Valley, Southern Comfort. This one tastes better out of all of them. Just those eggnogs. And then Hood. Hood eggnog is made by uh, High Point Dairy Farms. High Point Farms, whatever it's called, which sucks. Their eggnog sucks as well. High Point Farms. It's gross. The best eggnog is... Uh, Swiss Farms makes eggnog, but they don't make theirs anymore. They stopped. Last time they made it was 2016. They're saying they're having trouble with the suppliers, which is a lie. The coronavirus isn't real. Stop falling for it. Why are we still selling cigarettes if it's, it gives you cancer? Bought this at the Wawa uh, on McDade Boulevard in Glidholm. Right across from Pep Boys, which is across from Walmart. The Glidholm Walmart. This is uh, January 4th, 2022. That's when it's goodbye. The sell-by date. Today is the uh, no November 16th, today. 2021. The other eggnog is really good that they don't... Well, they do make, but they say they, they're not making, but it's a lie. It's Cumberland Dairy Eggnog. It's called Fresh Life Eggnog. Is that's their label. It's on their website. Check their, their website. It's the best eggnog ever. This eggnog's okay. This does say it does say shake well, but this one sucks. It doesn't want to focus because it wants to be stupid. All milk should be made in these cartons, not in the plastic cartons. Uh, my phone charger came off. I didn't even shake this up. I should have, but you're not really supposed to shake these up. Because then you get that foam in there. There's not supposed to be fucking alcohol flavored eggnog, like the spices that are in alcohol, like liquor. Southern Comfort puts their alcohol ingredients in it, like the spices. So it tastes like friggin' alcohol. They get you to buy their alcohol, their liquor. Let's see in there. That's what it looks like inside.
you know, this has, tastes like toothpaste. The same spices, like ingredients that make toothpaste. It does smell like toothpaste too. It smells a little bit like detergent. Which is disgusting. This, uh, this eggnog is okay. It's not worth really buying. None of these eggnogs high point. Sun Comfort Lehigh Valley. Clover. Land. I haven't had uh, farmland dairy eggnog yet. Or uh, highland. I, I, they don't, I guess they don't sell in Pennsylvania. Uh, Promised Land eggnog I had once, but they make two different versions. They make an old-fashioned and then a light eggnog or something like that. Or their old-fashioned class eggnog. I had it giant and giant don't sell it more. Subscribe, subscribe, tell your friends, share the video, like it, comment, whatever. I want to go to CS 2022, please subscribe.